Okay, uh, paano ba natin gagawin itong rigid diaphragm command, drip check, vertical irregularities check, and center of rigidity calculation sa stat. Okay, uh, ito yung sample model natin. Okay, so combined concrete and steel. Uh, okay, punta tayo sa general and load de definition. So anyway, uh, before tayo mag-apply nitong Uh, mga commands na ito, i-review muna natin yung model. So, itong ginawa ko sa model. Uh, Naggumawa ko ng reference load definitions dito. So, dead load and live load. And makikita nyo positive. Okay, positive loading. So, <coughs> okay, so walang direction ito. So, so uh, kasi gagamitin ko ito sa seismic mass. Okay, then, uh, paglipat pag transfer ko nito sa load sa uh, load cases mag uh, change ito ng direction so magiging correct yung dire yung loading direction nito so under reference load definition so ginawa ko siyang positive okay so ngayon pag punta nyo dito sa my seismic definition okay so ito yung parameters ko okay so anyway uh, area specific naman ito no so meron kayong ibang values dito for sure okay and makikita nyo dito dun sa uh, seismic mass ko uh, nag reference load ako so nirecall ko tong dalawa na to okay so pag click ko ng edit makikita nyo full live load tsaka nag alawa ko ng 25% live load para dun sa uh, seismic mass so depende yan sa uh, discretion nyo kung gusto nyo mag-add ng 25% live load but for para sa example na to may capabilities yung stat na mag-add pa nung uh, let's say ng additional uh, load other than dead load okay so nag-add ako ng 25% uh, load from live load na para maging seismic mass okay So, ngayon, itong dalawang reference load na to, dead and live, pag, pag, uh, transfer, pag uh, punta ko dito sa load cases details, okay? So, ni-reference ko lang siya. And, ang ginawa ko dyan is, ginawa ko siyang negative 1. So, ngayon, correct na yung uh, load direction niya. Okay? So, makikita nyo, isang input lang yung loading nyo. So, kung baga, may black loading kayo dito sa, sa reference load, then, re-recall nyo lang yung mga loads na yon kung uh, kahit kailan nyo gustong gamitin so one time application then nire-recall lang natin so ganun din sa live load uh, okay pagpunta ko dito nag reference load ako doon then factor is negative 1 so kung makikita nyo correct na yung direction ng live load okay okay so punta na tayo doon sa requirement natin rigid diaphragm command so punta tayo dito sa general then go specification Sub page set natin to sa front view i mean side view then make sure node cursor okay uh, naka-click yung node cursor then uh, shift k para ma-turn on ko yung mga nodes anyway hindi naman uh, kailangan no? pero mas gusto kasi nakikita yung nodes eh so shift k so kung gusto niyo naman right click kayo then labels then may node click niyo lang to click apply ayan kung gusto niyo ng shortcut shift k Okay, so ship K. So, i-select ko tong mga nodes na to. Okay. Then itong 2.5 meter height. Then click node, diaphragm type ko dito 2.5. Then click add. Then click assign. Ayan. Okay, so makikita nyo nag-red, nag-red 'yun. So pag kinlik nito highlight assign geometry selected to So, nagre-red, nagko-color red yung mga nodes na uh, part nung rigid diaphragm. Okay, so next level, uh, click, remove ko to. click node, select yung nodes, click node, then diaphragm 6.5. Yan yung height nung second, second level natin. Eh. Click add, then click assign. Okay, next level, ganun lang din. Click node. Diaphragm, 10.5 Okay Add, click assign Yes Then 14 So, click node 14 meters 
Okay, click add. Then click assign. And next uh, node uh, from 17.5. Click add. Then click assign. Yes. Okay. So, mukhang uh, assign na lahat. Kasi dot mag -region. So, click natin to Okay. Then, uh, okay. Nag Ayan, nag-highlight siya ng red. Ayan. Ayan. So, ganun lang yung application ng rigid diaphragm command. Ngayon, drip check command. Okay. So, kung makikita nyo dito, uh, mayroon akong apat na seismic uh, load cases. So, X, both direction, and Z, and Z, both direction then So, after nitong load case na to, dito ako mag-drip check. Punta lang ako dito sa analysis page, close, then punta ako sa post print. Okay? Then hanapin ko yung load na yon. Ito, load 1, perform analysis, change. Yan. Then punta ako sa define commands, then story drift. Ayan. So type nyo lang yung allowable story drift dyan. Uh, Pre-calculated ko na itong story drift, okay? uh, which is h over 238. Okay? So, uh, 238, pero ang input mo dito dapat is reciprocal. So, 1 over x. So, 0 0.0042. Okay? 0 0.0042. So, ito na yung magiging allowable drip ko. Then, make sure i-check nyo itong after current para mag-apply yung command after dun sa selected line item. Okay? Then, click add. Ayan. So, copyin ko lang ito para hindi ko na i-type ulit. Ayan. Makikita nyo perform analysis, change, print, story, drip, 0.042. So, ganun din. Sa next load case, story, drip, then after current, then click add. So, ganun din dito. Story, drip, after current, click add, and last, ito, change, uh, story drip then after current click add close okay so complete na yung uh, story check natin next nating requirement is vertical irregularities check okay uh, yung vertical irregularities check uh, wala tayong command doon uh, sa GUI kailangan i-type nyo lang okay kailangan nyo i-type yun uh, Sana, 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 sana. Okay, so, pwede natin i-search anyway. ASC. Ayun. Okay, so, nag-search ako. ASC. Ayun. Okay. So, okay. Ayan. So, makikita nyo dito, itatype nyo lang itong command na to. Okay. So, check soft story. Uh, AC7 Okay, so makita nyo na yung previous <coughs> I mean, editor nung stud Hindi mo siya masume eh. Pero yung latest, let's say yung select series 6 So makikita, pwede masusum na siya Okay, so mad Ayan Ayan, so check soft story AC7 Okay uh, So itatype nyo lang yan Okay, so ganun lang Close ko na to. Then, yung last requirement natin, center of rigidity calculation. Okay? Uh, center of rigidity calculation, uh, i-add natin yan after ng perform analysis command. Okay, ito. Okay? Then, define commands. So, ito. Center of rigidity. Okay? So, make sure click after current, then click add, then close. Ayan. So, nag-print. Diaphragm center of rigidity. Okay? So, ngayon ready na natin i-analyze yung structure natin. Save. May tatlong warnings. Yung notes, okay lang yan. So, yung warnings, kailangan natin i-review. Uh, view output file. Oh, may tatlong warnings. Uh, one, TD or TB0. Okay, uh, anyway, galing to dun sa uh, irregular shape input na ginawa ko. Okay. So, which is this one. Ayan. Okay. So, but 
pwede nyo i-ignore yung warning na yan. Okay. And yung next is extreme soft story detected. Okay. So, merong weak story doon sa structure, yung level 4. Okay. So, kailangan natin solution na yan. Either lakihan mo yung columns mo or uh, dagdag ka ng bracing. Okay. Uh, level 4 kasi isa steel natin yan. Isa level 4 ito. 1, 2, 3, 4 ito. So, steel. Sa so steel structure level. Doon. So, bracing ang solution. Solution dyan. Okay. Uh, next na output natin. Anyway, uh, balik tayo dito. sa so, rigid diaphragm command. Uh, ang output natin dyan is center of mass. Punta tayo sa results. Ah... Uh, Ayan, floor diaphragm, so center of mass. Okay? Re-report niya yung center of mass on each floor. Then, yung output na makukuha natin sa drip check command is so, i-check ni stud kung uh, <coughs> uh, okay ba yung drip nung, kung okay ba uh, sa allowable drip yung structure natin. So, nung ginawa natin yon nag-fail yung level 2 tsaka yung level 5 ayun, so sabi niya fail alabol natin kasi is 238 pero ito sobrang laki nung, uh, <coughs> nung uh, drip niya dito so nag fail so, dito siguro since sa concrete level to so lakihan mo yung shear wall, kapalan mo or mas uh, mas, malaki, mas malaki yung size ng shear wall dito naman pwede, bra pwede ng bracing para masolusyonan then for uh, vertical irregularities check, uh, punta tayo sa anong ang output niya ni sa uh, ito, yung ito, yun sa warning niya. So, mag-check siya ng any weak story doon sa structure. So, dahil nga nag-fail sa uh, drip ito, so sigurado yung level 4 is uh, uh, weak story yun. Ang laki kasi nung drip dito, makikita nyo, L over 115. So, dito nag-report siya ng, uh, <coughs> ng weak story. So, bracing siguro talaga magiging uh, solution dyan. Okay, then uh, lastly, yung center of rigidity. Calculation, uh, ang output natin dyan is punta sa results, center of rigidity. Ayun. Center of rigidity at each floor. Okay. So, ibibigyan niya sa yung coordinates. Ayan. So, pag meron ka ng center of mass and center of rigidity, rigidity ma-evaluate mo yung difference between those two points. Then, with that, pwede mong uh, controlin yung distance uh, between those two points. Uh, ayan. Ah... Uh, uh, yung discard din na nasa designer na. Okay. So, thank you and see you for more videos.